This is Toby. I owned a skate park back in the day with two of my buddies and Toby was on our demo team. Now, Tobes hit me up, as people often do, with questions about baseball cards. A collector who was an acquaintance of his was trying to complete a rainbow for 2019 Topps Update Series rookie card from Minnesota Twins pitcher Devin Smeltzer. I was zero help on the rainbow front, but I did inform Toby that I took the photo on the card that his buddy was looking for. When Toby relayed that piece of information back, his buddy wanted to know if I'd sign one for him. After going back and forth a few times with the collector, I agreed to sign one of those cards and even offered up a print of the photo as well. The collector seemed pretty excited about adding those two pieces to his collection. And through our interactions, I found out he also works in sports. In fact, he'd be working the next two games I'd be covering, the first in Kansas City and the second in Milwaukee. So at that point, all that was left to do was to deliver the package. My name is Nick Wasica. I'm a photo addict with a sports problem. And this is The Card Show. My family has this tradition that every time we drive into a state, we always throw up deuces to let them know that we come in peace. I stopped at a sports book just across the Iowa border. As it turned out, Devin Smeltzer would be the starting pitcher that night in KC. So I'm over here thinking that the stars have aligned and I can't lose. So I bet on him to have more than 3.5 strikeouts. And for Max Kepler, Jorge Polanco, and Luis Arise, in my long shot bet, to go yard. After a quick gas and go, I continued my straight shot south on I-35 into Missouri and promptly announced my presence with another set of deuces. I love barbecue and have a personal policy slash theory that you can judge a barbecue joint purely on the strength of their brisket and sausage. So when I rolled into Joe's, I went with my standard two plate option. My plan was to eat it in a stadium parking lot. Oh, the smells were killing me. Couldn't get to Kaufman fast enough. After a little help from security, I made my way to a stadium. As for the barbecue, crush that before I hit the on-ramp. I entered the stadium and checked the weather, but like the great Minnesota musician Robert Zimmerman said, you don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows, because all I had to do was look up to see a tarp-covered field and a midsummer drizzle. As I found out through the course of the summer, every club had different policies when it came to where photographers could shoot from. I liked working at Kaufman. Photographers were free to roam between the bags behind the plate. We were even allowed to use the top of the dugouts to place gear and edit from. As the game went on, it was shoot, edit, transmit, repeat. Till the rain came back, I think I may have been the only photographer there with rain gear because I was the only one shooting down low while it was raining. Thinking the other photographers covering the game didn't want to get electrocuted. And that I may have been the dumbest one there because I was totally oblivious to the lightning behind me. I had the package with me, but the collector was nowhere to be seen. But I did find Waldo. The Twins weren't the only Minnesotans to take an L in KC that night. Smeltzer finished with two Ks going four and a third in a no decision. Kepler went 0 for 3, Blanco went 2 for 4 with two singles, and Arise, well, he didn't even play. For real. I'm literally the worst gambler in the history of gambling. Five days later, with the package in tow, I was back on the road and throwing up peace signs on my way to Miller Park. If you're asking yourself why go through all the trouble to deliver something that could have been just as easily sent through the mail, it's because I remember Devin Smelter's debut. Because going into that game, I knew it would be such a cool card to land, because he has such a great story. When he was nine, doctors found a softball-sized tumor on his gallbladder. After a surgery, and extensive chemotherapy and radiation, his cancer went into remission, and he's been cancer-free since 2006. Also, the collector who wanted these things was the guy on the card, Devin Smeltzer. That's all. Thanks, man. The best part? The day the package was delivered was a survivor day, 14 years and counting. How cool is that?